Our final year project title is Design and Implementation of Heliostate Field. As the demand of electricity is increasing day by day, so we need renewable energy resources to overcome energy shortage. In countries like Pakistan, sun is a large source of energy and through which we can generate electricity. Solar panels and steam turbines are used to produce electricity through solar power. For producing electricity through steam turbines, it is required to collect solar power on a single target so that sufficient heat is produced to run steam turbines. In this project, we are reflecting sunlight on central receiver through mirrors. The device required to do so is called heliostate. The fixed target solar collector, which is also known as the central power tower system, involves the use of the many individual sun tracking mirrors to reflect and to superimpose the concentrated sunlight at a common target attached to the central tower. It requires a complex control system to operate and to monitor the motors fixed on each video state for sun tracking. It is our video state device. Uh, it is tracking sun through the astronomical algorithm. Uh, this is our main box in which we have STM32F4 microcontroller, LCD, and the PCB board. And uh, the program is running on Visual Studio software to which we bind it to stm 32 f 4 microcontroller. All the information of Azim Tandiva elevation angle and the duty cycle of the PWM wave is displaying on it. The heliostate model is tracking sun and uh, reflecting uh, its light on a single receiving tower by making its position. Basically, there are five steps in this project. The first is sun tracking, then the calculation of the position of the heliostate, conversion of the azimuth and the elevation angles of the heliostate into the PWM wave for driving servo motors, and then application of PWM wave to servo motors, and then sensing and displaying temperature. The first step is sun tracking. In sun tracking, the calculation of azimuth and the elevation angle of sun is performed by taking formulas from the report written by Ibrahim Reda and Afshin Andreas from the National Renewable Energy Laboratory, USA. We programmed this algorithm in STM32F4 microcontroller in C language through Visual Studio software. The second step is calculation of the position of heliostates. Uh, in this step, uh, we uh, perform calculations and implement it in, in STM32F4 microcontroller uh, to determine the position of its, uh, to determine the position of heliostate uh, by taking the uh, taking sun uh, azimuth and the elevation angle as an input, and then calculating the azimuth and the elevation of angle of that heliostate. Now we have azimuth and elevation of ang angle of heliostates on which we have to move it. So now we have to drive the azimuth servo motor and elevation servo motor on these angles. As a servo motor operate on PWM waves, so we con converted calculated azimuth and elevation angle of heliostate into corresponding PWM wave. Then this PWM wave is supplied to motor motor from the controller through optocouplers. TLP250 optocouplers are used in our project. The temperature generated on the center tower is sent to the thermocouple and displayed on LCD through the microcontroller STM32F4. Then this PWM wave is supplied to motor motor from the controller through optocouplers. TLP250 optocouplers are used in our project. The temperature generated on the center tower is sent to the thermocouple and displayed on LCD through the microcontroller STM32F4. In the implementation of our project, we designed the hardware integration and the software integration. In hardware integration, we have base, mirror, mechanical assembly for the movement of mirror in dual axis and the motor assembly. Controller is a very main part of our project. Uh, uh, we use STM32F4 discovery board for our project. 
Uh, we uh, then display temperature generator on the central receiving tower on LCD. Temperature is uh, sensed through thermocouples. Uh, it is over heliostate, but 